Hey everybody, Mr. Kobe here. So I'm gonna film myself doing this dialysis lab activity. In case you're absent, um, this will be your makeup lab. So make sure you have a copy of your lab handout. And what this is, it looks like a flat piece of plastic, but it's not. It, this is actually uh, what is called dialysis tube. And it doesn't look like it, but it's actually a tube. If you get it wet and rub your fingers between it, you can actually inflate it. And you can see I tied a knot in the bottom and I just add some, added some water here to show you that, yeah, it actually is a tube. Now, it may not look like it, but dialysis tube has incredibly small microscopic pores and holes that certain molecules can pass through. And so uh, that's gonna be the point of this lab activity is we're gonna test our understanding of diffusion passive transport and diffusion to try to figure out what molecules might be able to pass through the, uh, the pores, the little holes here of dialysis tubing. So what I need to do is I need to soak this dialysis tubing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bottle here of glucose. I'm gonna measure five milliliters of glucose. So I'll measure it with my graduated cylinder here. Cylinder here. I'm gonna add five milliliters of glucose, and I'm gonna add five milliliters of starch. So five and five, 10 milliliters of starch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the, I'm gonna pour the glucose and the starch, I'm gonna pour it into a new dialysis tube right here. So that's just water right there. I'm gonna dump the water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add five milliliters of glucose and five milliliters of starch. I'm gonna put the camera down and do that right now. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so what I did is I used the graduated cylinder right there and I measured five milliliters of glucose and starch. And here they are, they're all kind of, it's kind of just mixed together. But this little white soupy mixture here is five milliliters of glucose mixed with five milliliters of starch. So there's a total of 10 milliliters inside of this dialysis tubing. And you can see that it's knotted closed. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dialysis tubing and I'm going to just soak it in this water here, this cup of water here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some iodine drops, drops of iodine. Iodine has kind of an orange bronze color to it. I'm gonna add like 30 drops or so of iodine into this testing cup. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, <laughs> eight. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be an exact 30 drops. It's okay. Uh, nine, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 up. Oh, there was a big drop right there. Oh, well, um, yeah, that's probably good right there. It's okay if it's not exactly 30. You're, we're still going to get the desired result. So yeah, I kind of stopped counting, but there you go. So the iodine is in the cup mixed with water. So the, the cup is filled with a mixture of iodine and water. And the dialysis bag is a mixture of glucose and starch. Now I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let it sit for probably a good 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back about 20, 30 minutes later from now. Okay, so actually, while that's sitting, while the dialysis bag is sitting in the cup of iodine water, I, I wanna do this, I wanna do this test right here. I wanna show you what happens when starch and iodine come into contact with one another. So here's my bottle of starch, I'm gonna shake it up really quick. And I'm gonna simply add a few drops of starch into this little cavity here, this little well here. There you go, all right, so there's some starch there. Uh, it's kinda of like a milky white color right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a couple drops of iodine into that, uh, that starch solution. And you can see all it really took is one drop. And if I kinda 
stir it up a little bit. You can see it's almost like a blackish color. There's like a, a almost a deep purple blackish color. So when starch and iodine, when starch and iodine mix, that color results. So starch and iodine, when they mix together, they make up that color. Now, there's another test I want to do. I want to do a glucose test. So here's my bottle of glucose. Shake it up really quick. And I'm going to add a few drops of glucose into this little well right here, this little hole indentation here. So just a few drops is all I need. That's probably good right there. And over here are a couple of glucose testing strips. Now, if I hold this up, you can see that the original color of the glucose test strip is blue. If I dip this into the glucose, dip it for a few seconds, wash it or swirl it around a moment, take it out, it'll slowly start to turn colors. And if I compare it to, here's the strip on the right. The strip on the right has never been used. You can see it's only been a few seconds and there's already a color change. You can see that it's a, a green color. The one on the left is a green. If it turns green, what that means is that there's a small amount of glucose present. And eventually, if I let it sit, it might actually turn to a brown color because I did use a lot of glucose in this dropper bottle right here. And so if, it, if there's a lot of glucose present, that testing pad will eventually turn to a brown color and it might take a minute. So I'm not gonna sit here for the full minute, uh, but it, it'll go green if there's a small amount of glucose, which you can see, and it'll actually turn a brown color if there's a large amount of glucose. These tests right here, the starch test and the glucose test, are going to be really important later on. So make sure you remember what just happened here. Okay, so before I show you the results, here's kind of what you're trying to figure out. Here's a drawing summarizing what happened. So here's the dialysis tube. Remember, the dialysis tube has little tiny microscopic holes in it. Now you can't see them. You can't see them, they're too small to see with the naked eye, but they're there. And because there's little tiny holes, can some of the molecules pass through those holes? That's what we're trying to figure out. Does starch exit? You know there's starch inside the bag. Did it actually diffuse out? Does glucose exit? You know there's glucose inside the bag. Does glucose diffuse out? And does iodine enter? You know you added, we added drops of iodine to the watery solution. Does iodine diffuse in? We should be able to answer these questions by making some observations. So now I'm gonna to go to the results. I'm gonna show you some observations that should allow you to answer not just these questions right here, but all of the questions that are on your lab handout as well. Okay, so here are the results. I actually had to move into my office area, area because my classroom ended up getting used for something. But here, let me show you three observations. Observation number one. If I hold up the dialysis bag, you can see there's a blackish color on the inside. That color was not there before. That black color inside the bag, that wasn't, it wasn't like that before. Something happened. That observation that there is now that dark color on the inside of the bag should help you answer one of the, th the three questions that I just showed you on the whiteboard a moment ago. I'm going to just go ahead and store that there before I get rid of it. A second observation. Look at the iodine water. It's not changed. The color of the iodine water is still that same orange bronze bronzish color. It's unchanged even though nothing happened to the color of the iodine water. That is an observation. So this is a second observation right here. The second observation that the iodine water is unchanged should help you answer one of the three questions on the whiteboard. And then here's another observation. This is a glucose testing strip. If I swish it around a few times, take it out and give it a few seconds, now that's the one I just used right there. 
a little blurry, it looks like, on my camera. Okay, now here's a new one. So the one on the left has never been used, but the one on the right has been used. You can see it's starting to turn a more greenish color. The one on the left is fresh. The one on the left has never been used. But the one on the right, it's subtle. There's a little greenish color change. If I wait a little bit longer, it might become a little more noticeable. But the fact that it's changing colors, it's slowly changing colors, that tells me something. So when I used the glucose strip and I swished the glucose strip into the iodine solution, you can see it's a little more vivid now. Again, the one on the left has never been used. The one on the right was what I just used. So there's a third observation. Again, observation number one is that the color inside of the dialysis bag has appeared. Observation number two is that the iodine water has remained the same. And observation number three is that this testing strip has turned colors. Those three observations right there should help you answer the rest of the analysis questions. Good luck, and I'll see you in class.